Tell me about this little button down here, the one with the checkered flag. Ah, that is dynamic mode. So go ahead and press it. All right. So it does what you'd expect it to do. It sharpens your throttle and steering responses and firms up the suspension for more precise handling. So by the way, you may not have noticed, but above 65 miles per hour, the I-PACE lowers its suspension by about half an inch to reduce aerodynamic drag and improve high-speed handling. Yeah, you don't notice that at all. It's seamless. That's what I love to hear. And you can configure dynamic mode to your preferred throttle sensitivity, suspension stiffness, and steering weight. Yeah, great driving experience. Okay, what else? So you also have comfort mode for less spirited or more day-to-day -day driving. You mean driving with passengers on board? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, but being practical, what about when I'm driving in town or in the suburbs and I just want to get somewhere efficiently and use as little range as possible? Well, then you just press this button. This one here? Yep. Okay. Yes, so it puts the I-PACE into eco mode. Now, this mode reduces battery load by adjusting the climate control system, seat heating or cooling, and any other non-essential systems. Now, go ahead and press the eco widget on the home screen. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now go ahead and go to range impact. Amazing, now you can see the effect that the vehicle systems are having on predicted range. So if you were to switch on climate control, right. heated seats, now I see. and heated windows, you will see how it's impacting your range. Makes a big difference. Yeah, it's very yes. useful to have, right? 